legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Around and around it goes. The question, should Florida expand gambling, including adding Las Vegas-style casinos? The answer, not an easy one. Legislation failed for the past four years that overhauls state gambling laws. Now a group wants to put the decision into voters' hands. We're getting permit applications. We called John Sawinski, the man in charge of the voter control of gambling in Florida ballot initiative. We think it's what voters in Florida, whether they support more gambling or not, really want is to have the voters put in charge of this question. Tell our elected officials, keep big gambling out of Florida. Sawinski also heads up the anti-gaming group No Casinos. Look at the last five years, the amount of time and energy and intellectual capital and political capital that have been spent on the issue of casino gambling in the state. It's, it's ridiculous. But a case brought on by this racetrack in rural Gadsden County, about 30 minutes away from Florida's capital, could change everything for the state's gambling laws. A referendum passed in 2012 that would have allowed slot machines at the rural racetrack. The issue is whether or not the county needs legislative approval for the slots. The Florida Supreme Court will hear arguments in the case next month. Reporting in Gadsden County, I'm Matt Gelka.